In this video I'll show you how to use the e-learning authoring tool to create quizzes and tests. Uh, what I'll do first is I'll add a new page to the course and uh, I'll uh, change its name to uh, my quiz. I could call this page anything I wanted to. And uh, when you um, uh, modify pages in the editor uh, you'll see that there's different types of pages. So instead of an information page I'm going to create a quiz. Now that I've created a quiz type page, uh, when I go in to edit that page, I'll see that the first thing I do is edit all of the uh, language strings that are used inside the quiz. I can discover that a quiz uh, contains one or more question pools, and what a question pool is is a container of one or more questions. Uh, so for instance, I could have a quiz with one question pool, two question pools, or more. And for every single question pool, I can decide do I want to deliver all of the questions of the pool, or just a fixed number. Um, when I want to uh, modify a question, so for instance uh, here's a true-false type question, and let me add something in there. So here we have the sky is blue, the correct answer is true, and I won't bother with any sort of optional feedback. Uh, I could add another question to this quiz. Let's add a multiple choice question. and I'll add in some choices. I could add some optional feedback if I wanted to. I could randomize the choices. So now I've created a uh, course. It has uh, just uh, one page so far and that page is a quiz and that quiz has one question pool and that pool has a couple questions. So let's see what it's like to uh, run to uh, run this particular sample course. So I'll do a little test launch, and here I see my course. It contains one page. I named my quiz, and now we're looking at the uh, user interface of the quiz. Um, quizzes start off with a quiz introduction page. Uh, here's that bit of text that I can modify if I wanted to for the for the introduction page. Uh, every quiz has uh, explanation built in about how it works and it introduces this notion of a quiz status bar where we can go from the introduction page of the quiz, it has a couple questions, and then the results page. So let's uh, take the quiz. Um, we can see that uh, here's the uh, first question on the quiz. Uh, I can get it uh, correct or incorrect, um, but whatever I uh, answer I can immediately check the answer and get feedback. So in a quiz it's a very friendly way uh, to let the user try a bunch of different answers and see what's correct and why it's correct or incorrect. Um, go on to the next question and I can decide to get that uh, correct or incorrect too. And a quiz lets me uh, change my answer if I want to. So that's the basic functionality of a quiz. Now let's go back to the authoring tool for a second and uh, let's see what happens uh, when, I, when I want to adjust the passing score. Uh, so a quiz, I can decide whether or not it's going to contribute uh, to the overall course's completion. Uh, so I could say no, quizzes don't contribute to the overall completion, or what I want to say here is yes I want this quiz to contribute um, by uh, the user, ha the learner has to pass this page. I could set a passing score, I'll make it real easy right now, I'll set it to 50 percent. And say my course has more than one quiz, um, I could decide what percentage of contribution. So maybe I have two quizzes and I want each one to be 50% or I have one quiz and I'd like it to be 100% or I have 10 quizzes and I'd like it to be 10%. So I can not only set the passing score for this particular quiz but also how it contributes to the overall course. And so I've got a passing score of 50% and currently it accounts for 100% of the score of the course. Okay, let's go in and uh, test launch that uh, course again and you'll see right here in the bottom the instructions to the user automatically pick up that score. So now the user knows that uh, he or she has to get at least 50 percent to complete the quiz. Um, we'll go ahead and answer one of these correctly and uh, let's get one incorrect. And you see in the quiz the uh, quiz status automatically shows me which questions I've got correct and incorrect. And I can go look at the results page any time to see how I've done on the quiz. So that's how quiz works. Uh, now let's go take a look at tests. I'll add another page into my course and um, call that one my test. Again I can name these pages anything I like. 
Um, so now I have a quiz and a test in my course. So let's say in my quiz, now I want it to only contribute 50% to the overall score of the course. In my test, um, I'd like to change that type to test, and uh, I want the, le the learner to pass this one too. I'll make it really easy to pass, like 50%, but this test is also going to contribute 50% uh, to the overall score of the course. So when the learner takes this course, 50% of the score will be from the quiz, and 50% will be from the test. Um, to make it simple, I'm going to go uh, copy that question pool that I created before. And uh, let me just paste that into my test. There we go. I'll just use one question pool. So I have a test. Um, here's all the uh, um, bits of information that are going to be used for the uh, text of the text of the test. It's got one question pool, and I included the same questions. So let's go ahead and take a, lo a look at that. I'll uh, launch the uh, course. And now they launch the course, I can see I've got two pages in my course, um, my quiz and my test. When it comes to uh, delivering the test, um, same kind of style as the quiz when it gets started. It has an introduction page, has some custom text that can appear on the, on the, uh, on the introduction page. Um, I created uh, a couple questions. And now uh, it's going to work a little bit differently than the quiz. Since I'm taking a test, there's no way for me to get immediate feedback on the ans on, on the responses that I have to this question. So I can't tell uh, if that question is correct or incorrect until I'm done with the whole test. So let me answer one in uh, correctly, answer one incorrectly. Again, I can't tell if I've got the, the answer so far. I just get uh, this green feedback that I've answered something, but I can't tell what uh, whether or not that uh, answer is correct. Until I click on the grade test button, and then once I click on the grade test button, I can see which questions are answered correctly or incorrectly. Um, here in the results page, I get a list of all the missed questions. And so if I wanted to jump back and review that question that I missed, uh, find out my answer versus the correct answer. And in a test, if I wanted to, I could just retake the test. And I can retake the test over and over again. But every time I retake the test, I'm starting from the beginning. So a, a test is a little bit different than a quiz. Um, I don't get feedback until the end. I can see what I what I uh, got correct and what I got incorrect on the on the test, uh, and then when I retake it, I'm starting from the beginning. So, if you'd like to see more of quizzes and tests, just go ahead and download our uh, trial version. It's uh, free to download, and you can try it out for yourself.